Hey guys, how you doing? You all right? I'm, uh, I'm in Germany, Hamburg, so I'm just exploring the city. I really like it so far. Um, it's, it's weird to say this, but um, I haven't traveled that much compared to most of my clients and most people, but now I'm traveling, it feels like I've done this before. It's really weird to say it. You never know, maybe in a past life. So yes, on a practical level, I'm in a new country and it's uh, slightly different to London, but at the same time, spiritually, I really feel like I've done this in my dreams a thousand times and who knows, maybe, maybe I have, maybe we have. Anyway, let's get back to a video, right? It's quite a few tips I want to touch on. But first thing I want to say is thanks to all my amazing clients that I've worked with because most of the clients I've coached, they're well traveled. They've traveled to lots of different countries and it's something that I always wanted to do growing up. But as a lot of you know, I've shared on the channel, it was one of my biggest fears of my life was traveling alone to other countries now i'm doing it of course now i'm here it's easy to say this is easy it's nothing to be afraid of but to get into this point was not easy i had to face a lot of demons a lot of stuff from the past which everybody has and surprisingly enough this is the last fear on my list i made a list many years ago and in no chronological order apologies as well i'm a bit underslept i'm tired but I like this feeling when you travel. So I made a list when I was in my early 20s. I was going through terrible depression, anxiety, panic attacks. I didn't want to live, if I'm being honest, but I was too afraid to end my own life, thank God. So my list was to overcome my social fears of talking to women, to get a girlfriend. I did that, I succeeded at that. My other fear was to get comfortable around, you know, other guys of a masculine men because I got bullied growing up and I grew up in a rough area and I was quite paranoid and insecure and a little bit defensive around other men because the fear that they're going to try and bully me and I'm going to react and fight. So I had to go to like boxing gyms, weightlifting gyms and disprove that insecurity wrong, which I did. So boxing changed my life. The next fear I had was money, career and starting my own business. I was absolutely petrified to do that. You know, social fears, insecurities about money, coming outside my comfort zone, coming out of that employee mindset and taking responsibility and learning to be a leader in my own life. So I did that successfully. The next fear was public, public speaking. I was absolutely petrified because for me, public speaking made me vulnerable and to potentially exposing my insecurities in front of people, which was, you know, getting nervous, stuttering, getting awkward and just not being comfortable. So I've done hundreds of public talks in my business. That was just unbelievable, life-changing. So grateful to have had that experience. The next fear was, you know, going on podcast shows, sharing my story, being interviewed, did that. What was the next fear? There were most of the fears, I think. So traveling was the biggest one of all of them. And I kind of buried that to the back and I guess being successful, which I'm grateful that I was, and building a business and a brand was a very good way of me hiding this last fear. Because I would always rationalize it and say, well, you know, yeah, I'm a bit, I don't really need to travel because everybody travels to London. You know, I track business all around the world and, you know, I've got so much in London going on. But deep down, it was affecting me. And I always say to my clients, if there's a fear that you're not facing, it's going to affect you. It's going to affect every area of your life at some point. So, doing this is like you know it's not just me coming to germany and traveling it represents a huge fear so now i've done it i feel freer and there's a big reason i wanted to do this not just for myself i wanted to do this for my clients because i don't want to be mentoring clients and telling them well you can live your dreams you can face your fears you can live fearlessly if i haven't faced one of my big fears so although I've been able to change so many people's life and maybe I didn't need to travel, this is, this is for my own conscience and I know I'll be able to give more value to my clients now and I'll be a better teacher because of these experiences of, uh, of traveling to new places. And um, that's, that's what I live for. That's what motivates me. More than all the other things, more than money, more than anything else is the buzz that you get when you face fear it changes your life it's it's very i think it's very undervalued in our culture i think people don't really understand it maybe they don't want to understand it because it's not easy for people to admit they have fears and secondly it's not easy for people to face it but like anything 
fear is no different to anything. If you practice it, you master it, you get better at it, it gets easier. And I like the idea, not just the idea, I like the reality of transferable skills. So if you face your fear of approaching women, it gives you confidence and you can transfer that confidence into the fear of starting a business, traveling, any area you want really. It's really about you deciding to take that confidence, that courage, that wisdom and transfer it. So, um, what else is gonna say? Yeah, I think I said, um, I think I promoted the weekend program. So if any of you wanna book on, send me an email and I'll get back to you. I'd love to have you on the program in London. And I'm very confident in the future, I'm gonna be traveling more and I will take my programs all around the world. This is a very short notice trip, so didn't really have much time to organize a program in Germany, but I will come back here because I, I love the people and I, and I love the country and I will take the programs worldwide. All right, speak to you guys soon, Phyllis.